question today. Why did a man open fire in one of our area's largest shopping centers? It was just before 9.30 when the sound of gunfire sent shoppers running for cover and SWAT teams rushing into the Garden State Plaza Mall. This afternoon, Chopper 2 is over premise where the mall remains closed while police continue to investigate. Meanwhile, we're learning more about the suspected shooter found dead inside and why his family was concerned just hours before the shooting. CBS 2 has a team of reporters working the story. We begin with Janelle Burrell. She is live where the suspect lived in Teaneck, New Jersey. Janelle. And Mary, just a few minutes ago, the brother of that alleged gunman, Richard Shoup, came out of the family home here in Teaneck, speaking publicly for the first time since the incident. And he says his family is devastated and never saw any of this coming. Meanwhile, family and friends have been coming to the house here to offer their condolences as investigators try to piece together a motive for what may have caused this young man to take his own life. These are the faces of Richard Shoup, a young man described as sweet by those who knew him in this quiet Teaneck community where he was raised. My brother intended to harm nobody else but himself. He just sadly decided to make an act of, an act of, I guess, self, self-indulgence by taking his own life publicly and it's a tragedy to us all. Can you tell us about you know the gun? belong to you? Is that accurate? That's what police are calling you. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, no comment. No further okay. comments. It's tough. Uh, it's just really tough for everybody. Neighbors and family friends leaving the two-story colonial that Shoup shared with his parents and siblings. Today, it's where they're mourning, grieving the very public loss of their 20-year-old son. I just know him as a, from since he was a little boy. And I just think he was mowing the lawn the other day. I never saw any, him do anything that was strange or anything. But prosecutors paint a much different picture, describing the alleged Garden State Mall shooter as a troubled drug user. He's someone that um, uh, does have a drug history. He has used drugs, uh, but uh, what possessed him to do tonight, uh, what he did, is uh, no, one, no one can really say. Investigators say it was Shoup's brother who called police Monday night when he heard about a gunman on the loose at the mall in Paramus. They say the brother had already been driving around the area looking for Shoup after finding a disturbing note that he had left behind. Prosecutors say the weapon used in the shooting is confirmed to have belonged to that brother. It would look like an AK-47 but it is not an AK-47. It's where you take the handgun and you modify it to make it look like something that it's not. But it is a lawful gun, owned by the brother. Prosecutors say they don't believe the family played any role in the incident. As police continue to investigate, friends here struggle with the loss. We are very uh, upset now to be uh, you know, uh, having, having this thing happen to them. And as you heard, we did ask Richard Shoup's brother about the gun used in the incident, but he did decline to comment. Police, though, confirmed that Shoup did have prior drug charges, but still this afternoon, a lot of questions that investigators and his family would like to see answered. For now, that's the latest live in Teaneck, New Jersey. Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.